Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to find out why this golf cart's not charging. It's got some issues. Let's see if we can't work them out. Okay guys, this thing's got eight deep cycle batteries. Alright, now I do see some issues. I noticed this yesterday. I stuck this on here to see if it would bring a charge. Um, because it starts here and then it goes all the way through all the other batteries and then back to this one and back. Um, so I thought maybe it just wasn't making connection because that's broke off and it's real weak down here. Uh, this is broke off. This is, well you can see it's junk. So I've got my multimeter out here. First thing I want to do is test the charger and see if it's charging. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that I think the charger might be charging okay, but uh, the batteries, as you can see, they're they're mostly uh, they're dated 715, so 2015, so they're five years old. There's one 14 back there; it's six years old. So the first thing I I got to do is I got to get my multimeter out. I have it here with me, but I got to get you set up on a stand somehow in here because it's starting to rain. But I really want to check into this um, before we try to sell it there's a couple fuses down there I'll check them but I really think the the issue is going to be in these batteries and these connections here uh, so I'm gonna to have to check each and every battery but first thing I want to make sure that battery's chart or that charger is charging like it's supposed to so let me get you on a stand in here somehow and we'll get to doing some checking Okay, I got my multimeter out here. Let down here. Um, this thing, I think it's 36 volt uh, system here. So, so there's your um, negative, and here's your positive from the charger right here. So let's put this on here. See what it's reading. Yeah, it's reading 36 volts, so the charger is charging. So, now what we got to do is, uh, see, I don't know if once I put that in there, if it's going to go clear through the circuit, because if one battery's dead, it's kind of going to screw everything else up. Um, I had a way to hold that on there. That's negative, positive. Okay, so I'm getting some readings now. I wasn't getting readings a minute ago. I forgot to turn you on. So what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to put a ring terminal on this thing, hook this up, get this hooked up the way it's supposed to be, or at least, you know, get a better jumper wire, and see if it'll start taking a charge, and if it does, then we'll let it charge a while and see what's going on, but uh, I'm not sure what, what these two fuses are for, that one's good, uh, you guys can't see, can you? in here that one's good so the f these fuses are good all right let me get a ring terminal on this thing then we'll go from there okay hang tight guys
Okay. Now, this little jumper wire is not enough to run this to run the cart itself. Okay. I just want to see if it's going to make a circuit so it can charge the batteries. Let's see now. Let's see if it's going through. There's something getting through it. Still not reading what it should be reading on the charger. So, check some of these other ones here. Oops, sorry. Alright, they seem to be tight. I'm going to let it charge for a little bit. I may bring my charger out and I might have to disconnect it and bring each battery up uh, just enough for it to maybe take a charge. But I'll get back with you and we'll see what's going on after this. Okay, so what I did was I put my battery charger on here, let it charge for a little bit. Now I don't know if you can see or not, see them lights? The one on the right. Tells me how much charge is in it. The one on the left says it's charging. It's no longer blinking red. So, and I've got it plugged in to the regular charging system. This is not plugged in anymore. So we're going to let this charge for a while. See if we can't get them to come back to life. So I'll be back with you. It'll be for you. It'll be a second but me. It's going to be a little bit. i got some other things I'm going to do. I'm going to let this charge for a few hours. We're going to come out see if that right dot moves up any on that scale there I don't know if you can see them dots yeah see if it moves it up any on the scale right now of course it's not reading anything in that gauge okay guys it's looking like we got the batteries to take a charge see that light clear on the end there so it's charged you can hear them hissing a little bit but we do have turn signals all right got that now let's see if we got headlights got headlights nice and bright uh, that lights out. We do have a clearance light there. It's on. And we have tail lights. That's also a brake light. That's on. Okay, so we got these two that are out. Probably just a wire. So, that's good. Uh, let's see. Let's check. See if we got a reverse backup beeper. No reverse backup beeper. Okay. Oh, I think it might need to be unplugged. Let's see. Oh. Alright, I got it unplugged. Yep, backup beeper. Got that gauge over there. I don't know if that gauge ever did work right or not. And like I said, I'm not going to try to run it because of that little wire right there so everything seems to be checking out all right and now we got four ways right. let's shut the lights out we got uh, here's the horn all right, so it seems to be doing pretty good. I think they're charged up. So later, I'm gonna mess around with them things. With them cables, also got a bad one here. It seems to be pretty damn loose right there. So that's that. Uh, I'll put a new cable on. I think I've got one of them. I'm pretty sure I do. I'll put a cable on it and try to do something with this stupid piece of crap. And, uh, We'll try to um, get it running later, but at least I know the batteries are charging now, so that's pretty good. So there you go. So we didn't 
get to do a whole lot on it, but uh, I'm in the garage sorting out my tools and stuff like that. But at least we did get it figured out. It is charging. I just had to bring it to life with my uh, booster charger here. And uh, I let, left them on there for a little bit. 15, 20 minutes maybe, maybe 10 minutes. Just enough to put a little bit of charge in it. And then it took over, the other one took over and charged. The built-in one took over and charged like it's supposed to. So that's what we're looking at. So at least we got power, everything works. I don't know if the radio works. I'm not gonna check it right now. I'll check it when I check these other two lights. You know, and but so far everything works. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna try try to drive it with that with that one wire going over. That's just to that's just to put charge through to it. So to the other battery. So, all right, guys, there you go. So we got that much straightened out on it. So anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, legend. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm gone for now. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.